my dear friends today i am going to teach about features and configurations in tally now let us first see about features features button is f11 that will appear on right hand side of gateway of tally there are three options in this features one is accounting features let us see what are the features and accounting features here first one is integrate uh, integrate accounts and inventory say yes if you are maintaining stock value as per your records this option to be keep yes if you don't want to closing stock value as per your tally reports then keep this option no then second thing is income expenses statement instead of pl account this is particularly used for uh, non trading companies a trading company must have a profit and loss account whereas in service sector income and expense statement instead of pl account say yes for service sectors if you are a trading company keep no then multi currency multi currency you no know, say there are so many currencies like dollars uh, euros pound pounds and britain pounds etc next outstanding management maintain bill wise this is in trading company even the service sector also so when the customers pay amount uh, bill to bill so that we can track to maintain bill wise details next option is activate the interest calculation this is particularly for uh, finance companies that is for marwadis suitable for marwadis then payroll payroll is say just like uh, basic salary p of esa whatever it is to enable payroll keep yes here and here cost center maintain cost center is particularly for cost accounting for construction companies example and for construction company you have to maintain cost raw material purchase labor whatever it is each site wise so that you can use this cost center for, for your uh, construction company and also manufacturing companies these are all not necessary allow invoicing say yes if you want to print uh, invoice format use this option yes this also yes use debit credit notes when stock returns you have to use this debit note credit note then maintain budget controls this also you can say put yes particularly for charities trust companies they have to maintain budget for uh, each expenses so use this option if you want to maintain budget control yes elevate this check printing if you want to ch print a check say yes this option then configuration yes here select the bank say there is no bank you can select and uh, put the measurements of height and length of your check
allow zero value entries this is particularly gift items when you give free items for your sales promotion you can use this entry you can say yes so that it will save then maintain multiple mailing address this allows you can set yes for email address and all then further enable company logo if you want to print logo on invoices say yes to this option location of logo so if you have a logo on uh, uh, say example logo dot bpm logo dot jpeg in c colon here enter c colon that means simply location where the file was saved that is the thing <laughs> this okay just we go for uh, inventory features inventory features integrated uh, you know this also this say yes for trading companies hello zero say yes multiple go downs you want to maintain each go down wise say yes this is batch if you want to maintain batch wise say press yes here this for a particularly expired date that is for uh, medicals medicine medical shops can maintain this batch and allow process ordering this particularly for uh, purchase order and sale order say yes once you enable this you can raise purchase voucher or sales voucher then it will link with your invoices allow job order for a job purpose job work purpose you can say yes here then allow invoices yes this also yes debit note credit or you can say yes track for cost of purchase if required put yes use multiple price levels you can say yes this is particularly for say a product you can create a number of types a b c d for type a for wholesale type b is for retail and type c for customer like that you can uh, create uh, multiple levels in this so you can yes this if required further features use tracking delivery receipt notes this also you can keep yes if you are maintaining this processing purchase sale order processing material in out this is for job work use contracts for stock item use stock cost tracking for stock items this also you can make yes then go for uh, statutory f3 statutory enable excise if your company is having excise duty say yes for this option set alter excise details this also you can make it yes then uh, allowing in these are all uh, access related and this is vat if you are having the vat say yes set alter vat details this also make yes enable service tax if your company is having service tax say yes and uh, 
enable tax deduction at source if you are having a TDS you are detecting any TDS you can make it yes this is particularly for uh, who or want to maintain a proper way you can say yes otherwise simply pause journal entry see you don't want to require this next thing is enable tax collection at source this yes if you are collecting TDS that means you are collecting rent and all the service provider will detect some amount and give the balance check to your company so that this comes under TCS tax collected at sources then enable fringe benefit tax this is I don't have idea let it be enable statutory payroll if you are using payroll see just this option MCA report say so this also you can make it yes here enter your company TIN number so that this number will print on your sales invoice and also interstate number you have CST number you can type here and further PAN number you can enter PAN number here thank you for your patience Next video, you are going to learn about configuration.